Hello and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Ooh, a nest. Um, what we're going to do this time is we're going to enact the plan that we made up with... The, oh, I don't have any weapons on. Oh, that's good we didn't get into a fight, isn't it? Um, but yeah, we're going to enact the plan that we did... Uh, we worked out with the blacksmith over there. And I get his son in charge of the other blacksmiths and everything will be great for us. Oh, there we go. We didn't even need to shoot it down. It was easy enough. And I had another necklace in it. Right. But yeah, we're going to enact the plan. Hopefully it will all work out. All we have to do is win a fight in some armor, which is apparently better than the other guy's armor. We've heard differently, however, from another blacksmith. We've heard that actually Master Otter, who's um, the blacksmith we need to get rid of, he actually uh, makes pretty good armor. He's very good at his job. So we're probably going to be wearing... Pretty rubbish armor ourselves, so, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, first things first, we got to speak to Master Otter, if I have a look at Rattled, yeah. we got to challenge him to a bludgeon duel, or challenge his champion to a bludgeon duel, presumably. I mean, he's an old man, if we were to challenge him, I'd hope that we'd win, no matter what armor we were wearing. Right, oh, it's in this side, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, up here. Hey, Master Alta, been like, ooh, all day since we saw you last. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Actually, first things first, I do need to buy a new shirt. Um, we only have ten currently. Yeah, okay. Hey. Master Armorer. I have a message for you from Blacksmith Zack. If it's another one of his so-called generous offers, you can go straight back and tell him I'm not selling, and that's that. No, this is another matter. Vitus wants to challenge you to a duel. What? <laughs> Me fight with that brat? Zack must have lost his mind entirely. It'll be a duel of craft work. That's not how it will be. The real duel will be between your pieces of handiwork. How's that? It will be a duel with bludgeons. No bloodshed. At most, a few bruises and some dents in the armor. Zack chose me to wear Vitus armor. And so I'm to choose a champion of my own? That sounds reasonable. Good. So let's agree on the time and place. Hold your horses, young fella. I've got a counter offer for you. Now, I'm sure Zack is paying you well. I'm not doing it for coin. Maybe I'm just doing it out of love for my neighbour. Aye, a regular good Samaritan, no doubt. I could pay you more. And I'd tailor make a Kiras just for you. What do you say? You mean if I fight as your champion instead? I'm not sure how Zack would take it. No, no, you fight on Zack's side and lose. I'm not a cheat. Now forget it. I won't sully my name with cheating. Suit yourself. But my champion will batter you into the ground anyway. So you've nothing to gain. So, choose the time and place. What, me? You're the one being challenged, so it's your right. Well, it's all the same to me. Go and sort it out with the bailiff. He should know about it anyway, so I don't look like a troublemaker. All right. I like how Henry's just so calm. He's just like, all right, whatever, I'll do it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, where is the bailiff? Oh, he's, oh, it's, the, oh it's Master Fresco Painter, who we haven't even spoken to. Uh, Murhoyet. Sorry, it's not Murhoyet. It's this one, yeah. We've still got a whole other quest here. In, the, in theory, a whole other quest. We'll see, though. Uh, I think the bailiff's probably just going to be at the... Uh, in? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, so just down the hill slightly. Is he in here or is he... Oh, he's wandering. Ah, uh, right. That's the problem. So if we head along this way, I hope there's a way out on this side, but it doesn't look like it. It's very annoying. Yeah, we're going to have to go around the other way. Catch him. Uh, is there a way through here? There is a way through here. Nice. We should be able to catch him at the other side here. Hopefully. 
bees nearby. Bela, hello. Day. Day. Not good, not bad, just day. I'm here on behalf of Blacksmith Zack. Zack? What does that madman want now? Don't tell me. It's another complaint about the Master Armorer. Well, you can tell Zack if you waste another minute of my time with that pathetic feud of his. I'll have him up for disrespecting the office of the bailiff. No, it's not a complaint this time. In fact, Zack came up with an idea to settle the dispute once and for all. Is that so? Well, that's a different kettle of fish. That's just what I was after. You have my full attention, friend. What's his plan? A duel. Jesus Christ! Has he lost <laughs> his wits entirely? Um, yes. We will just, um, we'll calm it down. But don't worry, Goodman Bailiff. No one will get killed. It will only be a duel with bludgeons. Zack chose me as his champion. I'll be wearing a suit of armor made by his son, Vitus, and I'll fight Otter's champion. Whoever falls first, loses. <laughs> that sounds like a fine spectacle for the village green. Naturally, I'll have to be present to ensure nothing untoward happens. <laughs> Your presence is certainly expected, Bailiff. We'd like you to referee the whole duel. Very well. We'll have it on the marketplace in the front of the church. But when? That's up to you. It's pouring down outside. Such entertainments are best kept for more clement weather. All right, Bailiff. I'll come another time. No. Really? I have to wait for it to stop raining. Well, I might as well go speak to the painter then, huh? And then when it stops raining, I can do this duel. Hopefully the painter just tells me what I need to know and then we don't need to duel. Anyway. Right. Ah. Long here. Back to the painter. And it gives us something to do with the rest of the day. Nope. That is not the right path. That is also a bush, a wall, the, the ground, yep, under the ground, and inside a horse. Come on, Pebbles. There we go. Those that Pebbles can move quite nicely without me being there, which is uh, very good. Right, there's the bridge. Cross the river. And then we're headed in here, I think. Is that Hey Henry's come to see us again? Okay, so he's staying like here or here? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe he's downstairs? Hey, he must be, be downstairs. Be a bit more careful. Oh, hello. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Yes. I hear you've had some problems with the supply of Quicksilver. Problems? I should say so. For the third time this month they've told me they've none. There's no Quicksilver to be had, they said. And who exactly are you talking about? Who's holding back the goods on you? The Monastery Overseer, or his assistant, more like. So what did the Overseer have to say to you? Nothing. Apparently he doesn't deal in such trifles. Leaves it all to his assistant, the pompous git. Okay. Surely such valuable material can't just vanish. Where can it be? I wish I knew. Every time I ask for the red pang, there's a different reason why they haven't got the Quicksilver to mix it. Once they said the goods never arrived, and another time that the wagon carrying it was ambushed. Then it went astray somewhere. And you think they're lying? Jesus, what do I know? Well, it seems pretty strange to me. Three times in a row the same thing goes missing. There's bad luck and then there's something else. Okay. What do you need Quicksilver for? I don't. They do. To mix up the red pigment for me. I'm painting the church in Ujits. Can you imagine how stupid those biblical scenes look without red? Not really. Then be glad you can. My eyes hurt just to imagine it. Okay. See ya. That's all I need to know for now. Ah. But wouldn't you care to buy something before you go? Or play a game? I really need some money. I've been waiting here a while and my stay's getting expensive. Dice sounds good. There's always time for some dice. Let's see what you can do. 
Well, we will, of course, use both of these dice. Oh, no, I only used one. Let's see what we got. So we got triple three. Not triple three, triple two. That's pretty good. That's 200 points. Three's not a score, is it? No. Roll again. We got one. Bust. Oh, well. 200's not a score that's worth keeping. Okay, five, that's fine. Hmm. What's he got now? Okay, yeah. We'll see. Nothing? Oh, that's yeah, 350. That's it. Rolling one, that's a bust. Bust? Oh, he's re-rolling the whole thing. We'll see. That's so annoying. Yeah, okay. No point in pushing it. Five fifties as far as he's willing to go, huh? Is that three fives? That's pretty good, right? Five hundred. Six hundred. Yeah. We'll take six hundred. Fairly good. Four hundred and one. Hmm. He's going again. Bust. Yeah. God's holy at. Okay. Chance to get an advantage here. Oh, we only got one, which is worrying. Oh, well. Hey, what do we got now? Goal. Two fives and a one. If we take the one roll again. I tank it here. We got a five. Roll again. One and two fives? Yeah. And that means that we can roll the whole thing again. Okay. Three fours and a one. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to stop pushing our luck. And we'll pass. Yeah. Okay, so we only need 450 on our next roll, which isn't that unlikely. Okay. 300. <laughs> What have we got here? We've got 200, 350. I'm going to go for it. It's so good. There we go. 2000. Well, I mean, at least we didn't take any money from them, I don't think. Let's have a look. Nah, we didn't take any money from him. Right. Time to head up to the... M Wait. What did the quest tell us to do? This one. Overseer's office. Okay. Wait. It stopped raining. Gotta go to the blacksmith. Not blacksmith. The bailiff. Okay. Okay. Even though it was raining about 10 seconds ago, it looks like the power of dice has turned off the rain. Right. Oh, right. Uh, this way? Go straight through this yard. Yeah, okay. Somewhere. Is that the tavern? No, no, he's through here. Is that him? That's him. Yeah. Bailiff, bailiff, we're ready. It's not raining. I'll come about the duel. We can announce it right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll have it announced around town. You come along at just the right time. It'll be a fine show for the townsfolk, and I'll finally get that pair and their constant squabbling off my back. Perfect. Good citizens of Sassau. Our township has long been plagued by a protracted dispute. As you are no doubt aware, Zack, the blacksmith of the monastery courtyard, and master armorer Otto Rabstein have been, for some time, at odds. Ha ha! Added hammer and tongs, more like! And in so much as it behoves my office as bailiff to settle such disputes and maintain peace and order, 
I have decided to resolve the blacksmith's quarrel by unconventional means, whilst affording an entertaining spectacle. In short, we shall let them knock each other's teeth out. <laughs> However, since it ill befits two respectable tradesmen to maul each other on the market square like a pair of cocks on a dung heap, each of them has elected a champion. Zack, the blacksmith, has appointed to fight in his stead Henry of Scarlet Ooh, and yeah. Master Otto Rabstein's champion will be... <laughs> Please, introduce yourself, Sir Knight. Master Otter will fight for Master Otter. I don't need some young pup to take my place. <laughs> I remind you that this will be a duel with bludgeons alone and until first blood is shed. Come folks, be sensible for heaven's sake. We don't want any maiming here or, God forbid, murder. So, if both contestants are ready, let us begin. All right. Well, hopefully we can beat Master Otter. I was gonna say, where's our helmet? But that's all right. Giving up you, I can't really see very well here. I think we gotta go for more slices here because I don't imagine that um, going for um, jabs are really gonna work very well here. Okay. Wait, we haven't hurt him at all yet. You there, stop! Surrender! You're under arrest for breaking the law. I'm telling you. Excuse me. Ha! Excuse me. Uh, I'm not surrendering. I'll slaughter you. Over here! Is it because we moved out of the ring or something? Hey, 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 hey. Ow. Come here, this is really not very fair. Ow, ow, ow. He just came and killed me with a sword. A little bit of cheating, I'd say there. Did we lose because he came and hit me with a sword? Hopefully we're not dead. What? Are we even loading anything here or are we just sitting on a loading screen? Can't say I'm not a little bit annoyed. You know, just a little bit. We might load eventually. We'll see. Game hasn't said it's crashed, so we're just gonna sit here and chill out. Well, the game works out. Which one of the two things happened? Did we lose the fight, or did alternatively we get sent to prison? What the hell are you playing at, you blockhead? That old fart made a complete fool of you. Yeah. Maybe Vitus armor isn't all that good. To be honest, it pinches in a few places. Not good? You... How dare you? Vikas's armor is a masterpiece. It's not his fault you fight like an old woman. Now get out of my sight before I shove that bludgeon up your ass. You there! You. Stop! Don't move a Be muscle. a bit more careful. I'm... very annoyed right now at the current state of affairs. Hey, you! Surrender. Halt! You've committed a crime and I'm arresting you. I surrender. You, you crippled someone. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That'll land you a fat fine. Oh, that? No sign of any 
I have a secret task. Look, I'll tell you the truth. Do you think I'm so stupid? That's too much. I don't have that much coin. You'll still have to pay the penalty. Looks like you'll have to sit it out in jail. Okay. Put me in jail, then. You'll love it there. It's all set up just for the likes of you. Eleven days in jail. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, we do these real time. Oh, fantastic. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go and get myself a drink. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. I'll just leave this going. Oh, we still we still going? Okay. Oh. Let's see what's uh, going on in the world today. Uh, nothing much. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Still super exciting. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. This is uh, it's an interesting design choice. Yeah, definitely interesting. The bit where it starts you with a quest, saying you have to fight someone, then when you fight someone, it all goes bad. Hmm. Okay, well... Yeah, I'm still waiting. Hmm. Okay, still waiting. This is just amazingly exciting. Six days, really? Um... Yeah, still waiting. My god, it's a little bit, uh, low, isn't it? Alright, oh. I've read everything on my phone. Still five days to go. What else could we do? I don't know. I could move the mouse in weird patterns. We haven't done that yet. Made the day go faster. Definitely made the day go faster. Four days, huh? <laughs> okay, how many more days have we got? Seems like we do more than one rotation a day, don't we? Or does it is it exactly one rotation a day? I think it was like between 18 and 19. Let's see. Going around. Oh, I just thought of the best thing. Well, well, I'll tell you after this one, right? And... Yes, yeah, a full rotation. What if this is actually the waiting slash sleeping menu and because we've been there 11 days or 10, was it 11 days? I think it was 11 days. That actually kills us at the end because we haven't had anything to eat. I'm just saying. It's not outside the realms of possibility. This is really slow. Oh, we're doing hours now. 20, 19, 18, 17. <sighs> it's still very slow. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mm -hmm. okay. It still is the thing where the last hour is really slow. Hopefully it doesn't do anything like lower your skills or anything like that. That'd be very annoying. Or take your armor as payment or something. That would also be annoying. I did notice we didn't have any armor. So we've now been in jail. Can we can we leave jail now? Oh no, we, we've just been let go. Wait, what does this mean? Released prisoner. The modifier on us. Okay, can I put my equipment back on again? Then I need to go speak to Mr. Whatever his name and 
threaten him with my sword. We'll also wear that neck chain that we got. Right, merchant sword. Yeah. We're looking good. I wouldn't mess with me. Wait, we don't have any... Um... I guess we're putting on our nice trousers. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Uh, I will eat some dried fruit. Oh, I see our strength, vitality, and vit are, are all lowered because we were imprisoned. So doing nothing. Okay. This didn't take my horse. I need to go speak with this person. Ah, oh, dear. That was... Yes. That was painful. Okay. Uh, where is he? We could always just go and do the other part of the investigation and ignore the copper part. Apparently we're finished rattled, so... Yeah. Let's see whether we have more options now. That the deal's over. Maybe this is his house, because... I mean, I have the keys. Hey, who's there? Nobody? You're the wrong person. Nope. Run. Well, this was the wrong place. Well, I mean, it was the right place. Just the house next door was the wrong place. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Let's go continue our investigation over here. For a very lowered speech skill. So, um... Yeah, up here. Oh, we already found the notebook, so maybe we just have to go read that again? What, what the hell are you doing? Hey. Jesus Christ, be... Do you have any quicksilver? Be a bit more stop? careful. Who's asking? Nobody. I'm just asking. Then I don't have any. That sounds almost as if you don't want to sell it to me. It's not that I don't want to. It's that I can't. Oh. Well, why can't you? Can't you? In the Sassau Monastery? That seems unlikely. It looks more like you're lining your own pockets to me. I wonder what people would have to say about that. It's not. I'm not. No. Oh, shit. Get to the point. Uh... They came for me at noon, directly to the office. The overseer was somewhere on his rounds. Some night, it was, without a crest, armed. He called himself Sir Yezhek, and he had a lackey with him called Rapota, a scruffy fellow with a yellow cape, always whistling he was. They told me they wanted all the quicksilver we order for the monastery. Of course, I told him that wouldn't be possible. And then what? Did they threaten you? Uh, not at first. They tried to bribe me, and when I refused, they started threatening. Okay. So, how did you get the Quicksilver to them? How did you hand it over to them? I take it up the hill behind the monastery here. There's a big tree there with a small chapel underneath. Sometimes Rapporta is there waiting for me. If not, I leave it there. Okay. What did they threaten you with? They said they know people in the monastery. That they'd have me thrown out and beaten for stealing. And you had been stealing? I mean, before then? You know how it is. I work my fingers to the bone and they pay me a pittance. So they knew about you? Yes, they knew my name, everything. Okay, well, see ya. Very well. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, we found out a little bit of what we needed to know there. Apparently we've got to go speak to Master Feyfar, who has arrived back. Uh, where else are we on our quest? Hmm. 
Okay, well, we haven't found out about the copper, but we have found out a good enough clue. Might be worth going back and speaking to our friend, the knight with no crest. Given that there's another knight with no crest wandering around, and that seems very likely that they're related. Well, not, not like, you know, actually related, but as in, he might know who the other guy is. Then we'll speak to Master Fafar. I'm assuming that he's still over here. That was a good jump. I think everyone's gone inside. We should probably wash ourselves if we can. Yeah, except that this is the one... Oh, no, there we go. I'm going to say it's the one place that doesn't have a washing uh, basin. There we go. A troll. Oh, our criminal thing wears off. But it's moving off really slowly. Maybe it wears off... Um... Hey, there's, there's the guy I need to speak to. Or maybe it wears off like the number of days you're in prison. I don't know. What do you need? Tell me what I want to know about the copper. About that copper. I told you everything I've got to say. I made you an offer. Yeah, well, time to try our second deal. Do you know what the penalty is for counterfeiting? I never give it much thought. Evidently, because the penalty for counterfeiting is burning at the stake. And I can personally guarantee that when you're standing on that pyre, you'll find a loss of earnings is the least of your concerns. No, 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 of course you're right. I shouldn't have. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm afraid of being left destitute. So, out with it. What's been going on? One evening I got a visit from this scruffy beggar calling himself Rapota. He had a yellow cape on and kept whistling to himself. There was a knight with him too, but he didn't give his name. They told me what I had to do, how much I'd get for it, and I had to keep my mouth shut. Hmm. And where can I find this Rapota? Or the knight? I don't know exactly. But I've always left the wagon with the goods behind the monastery, on the hill there, next to a small chapel under a big tree. Anything else? No. I swear that's all I know. Well, that'll do me for now. Well, that works. Okay, should have just threatened him to start with. Oh, I do want to speak to the knight, and he's probably here. Um, we can eat. Okay. You here? Um, my favorite knight? There's the innkeeper. Maybe he went up to his room? I mean, I assume he has a room. Yeah, hey. What's up? I might know where the materials from the monastery get passed on to the forges. Where? Up the hill by Sasa Woods. Shall we go right now? No, I need to find out more. I don't even know if anyone will be there now. But you could keep an eye out there. In case anyone appears, I mean. Agreed. Good. Okay. Well, we got ourselves a person who will keep his eye out there. I mean, if we're going to trust him, don't trust him halfway. Trust him 100%, right? If he's messing with us, he'll be there either way. If he's not messing with us, then we might as well trust him. That's my logic, anyway. It's like, well, what else are we going to do? Just ignore him? That's, that's not going to lead to good things. Keep him in the loop. Right. Uh, along here. Along here. I think he's at the other end. Yeah. Right. Bailiff's repairing something. Weird. Okay. Why would I go upstairs? There's a downstairs. How I get in downstairs is another question, but there is a downstairs. Maybe it's this way. Oh, I'm in. Look out! Doesn't even know how to apologize. Greetings. What business have you? Um, well. Yeah. You look different, Master. So as to fit in. I don't want it known that I'm in town. Why? Why? I don't want to alarm our prey. Gossip spreads quickly, and if those scoundrels learn we're onto them, they'll flee. Mm, that does make sense. So what have you found out so far? That you're the counterfeiter, but... yeah. I found out where they get the copper sheets from. Really? So tell me. It's the smith on the monastery craftsman's yard. 
He supplies the counterfeiters. Do you know how he gets the goods to them? No. All I know is that someone called Rapporteur collected the goods. Not much, but it's a start. At least it's not a common name. Listen, Henry, I had another thought on the way here. Those counterfeiters have to have a punch die to make the fake coins. Yes, of course. That's sophisticated work. There's a man I know who works at the monastery yard, Master Engraver Jerome of Silesia. You don't suppose that he's... No, not that, God forbid. I know him well. He'd never do anything like that. But he runs an engraving workshop, so he might have heard something. Very well. I'll ask him. But ask with tact. I don't want him getting offended. And I prefer you not to mention me at all. I'll try to think of something. Okay. I found out where they get their quicksilver from. You were right. It was the monastery. Hmm. It was the only logical explanation. It changed hands on the hill behind the monastery. Have you been there to have a look around? Not yet. Maybe it would be worth the time. I'll go and see. And have you found out who's behind it? Rapporteur, once again. The same scoundrel. That's all. Hmm, OK. I'm a bit suspicious about this guy, OK? Oh, fantastic, it saved the game. I was actually just thinking about that as well. But um, I was thinking about this guy. The fact he doesn't want to be known he's here. He looks a little bit like a beggar. Oh, this potentially could be Rapunzel. I don't know. We'll see. We got another level up. What have we got here? Contemplative. Uh, as long as you remain still, your tiredness and hunger will remain at the same level. Oh, okay. Um, local hero. Your reputation is high, you get a bonus. Well, I mean, we kind of ruined that, didn't we? I don't like a lot of these. Knight Rider? Now, Scout? Increases the sight of fast travel and also increases the chances of evading. I mean, that's all right. Renegade ban. Penalties on stats from releasing to jail are 20%. <laughs> There's potential on that one, isn't there? Um. Yeah. I mean, Scout has no negative and I don't like any of the ones that lower my other stats. So, guess we're going to take Scout 1. Yeah, okay. That wasn't what I meant to do. We had more to look at there. That's also not what I meant to do. Okay, so our speech went up. Trustworthy middleman. Or middleman. Uh, merchants will be more likely to buy stolen goods from you. No. 50% higher reputation when you talk to women. Plus one speech bonus so you can persuade them more easily. And you can avail the bath wenches services for free. Okay. We'll take Troopador. You never know, it might be useful. What's lowborn? Oh, we have highborns. So we can't do that. That's fine. Um, skills? Reading went up. So we've got colleague already, so books are cheaper. When reading, you'll get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal. Art connoisseur. The first time you look at a fresco, cross a wayside shrine, your charisma will temporarily increase. Or, um... You being well learned to make a better impression on people and get a plus one speech bonus when trying to persuade a guard. Yeah, sure. Let's be magistrate one. Like some of them sounded interesting. I don't know about the fresco one because. Oh, hello. The fresco. I haven't seen any frescoes, but maybe that's. I, I have to look at them on the walls and then I will see them. I don't know. Anyway, we got a couple of different leads now. We got to check out the engraving workshop. That's our main lead, and then the other one is the hill behind the um, yeah behind the monastery. There may be something for us there. Now I bet that we're gonna meet somebody whistling at this place. Like he's gonna be whistling and walk in. We're gonna get a little cutscene. Yeah, I could see that happening. I could definitely see that happening. A little, little bit of a power play. We see him. Maybe we chase him, and then he gets away or something. Or he knocks us out. We have to track him down. I don't know. I could see there being ways in which that uh, happens. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Jerome's the wait. Jerome's the one who got the crown made. Oh yeah. Okay. He must be the guy who made the um, yeah made the thing for Stephanie of Tomberg's niece. Are we yeah we are short enough to get through there. Well, we've spoken to him before. Hopefully it'll go down well. I mean, we do have the released prisoner debuff, but 
Hopefully it'll go down well. Hey, Jerome. Good health to you. Yeah, same. How goes the work, Master? Getting there, getting there. You need something, my boy? What are you working on? What are you doing here, anyway? You're in an engraver's shop, my boy. We're engraving, of course. Yeah, but engraving what? And what's it used for? Oh, we engrave wood and stone as well as metal. Here in the monastery, it's mostly about decoration. Okay. You've got quite a large workshop, Master. You don't do all the work alone, surely? I'm usually here with my apprentice, Florian. Of course, by simple observation, you'll note that this is not currently the case, and I'm here alone. Which means that either I'm a liar or something out of the ordinary has occurred. Um, I see. I think. So what's happened to Florian? He shares the fate of the pharaohs for today. The fifth scourge of Egypt did smite him. The plague. Or so his message advised me. Jesus Christ, the plague? Do remain calm. I'm quite certain the plague from which Florian is suffering wasn't a judgment from on high. Or if it was, it was a judgment on excessive drinking. I'm told such an ailment can be of truly biblical proportions. Ah, okay. Tell me more about Florian. What's he like, your apprentice, Florian? I'm afraid that his exuberant youth has taken its toll. He's been acting strangely of late. I fear he has delusions of persecution. I don't really know what you mean, at all. Recently, for example, he told me that someone was following him. And the very next day, he bought a padlock from the blacksmith and locked up his chest. As though I would ever sneak into it. In any case, why the interest? Are you looking for him? Something like that. May I ask why? Um, I've got, say, I've got a message. I have a message for him. A message? Who would be interested in that, Maestro? Other than his furious and deeply disappointed master, of course. About your question, you'll find him at home, no doubt feverishly dying. He sleeps in the baker's cellar. Ah, thank you. Appreciate it. Let's, pu let's push it a little bit. Does Florian have any enemies? A man such as he certainly owes money at every turn, and the parents of local girls are undoubtedly displeased with his attempts to propagate... However, most recently it was that fury from the Baths who accosted him in quite a spectacular rage. Who? A woman from the Baths? What did she do? The harpy nearly tore all Florian's hair out. I don't frequently feel sorry for my ne'er-do-well apprentice, but on that occasion I made an exception. Do you have any idea why she did it? She was screaming about some girl, some flighty bath maid, Esther. I would say that Florian had felt the joys of spring and acted accordingly, although one would have thought they'd be used to that sort of thing at the bathhouse. All right, I'll be Thank going. You. I'll leave you to your work. He, he was just willing to give all information about Florian. I suppose we didn't know each other, but still. So it, it's quite a lot of information he gave out. So the hill behind the monastery must be like here... Yeah, surely it's talking like here, or maybe all the way over there, the interesting site. I could see either of those being the way. Yeah, let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. We're told to investigate. Tobias said that it was probably a good idea. Yeah, we're calling him Tobias now. We're on first name terms. Like, we're on a first name basis. But, you know. I, I think that, um... Yeah, he told us to have a look. We should just have a look. See if we can spot a chapel up the hill behind the monastery. This is the monastery. This is the hill, I assume. And we have gone up it. There should be a big tree and a chapel of some kind. I assume. Mm. Still assuming this is the hill. There's a big tree up there. It's kind of alone. That could be the right tree. There's a little shrine next to it. I could see this being it. Hmm. Or 
maybe it's up that side. Well, I'm going to have a look in the forest first, just so we've revealed the area. It does keep going up in terms of the hill, so chance they mean it's further up here. This is definitely not up, so we'll take a little shortcut further up the hill. Okay. Revealed a little bit, so it could mean it's up like this way. Ooh, new perk in horsemanship. Have we had a point in horsemanship yet? Yeah, we have. The war horse, horse won't shy at foes, but at least as long as no one hits them. 15% damage bonus in mounted combat. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, we'll take Knight. Definitely. That sounds like it could be fun. And useful. Um, hmm. Not so sure about riding the horse in this area. We'll see. Go down the hill slightly. Quite steep. And back in town again. Okay. If I head out this way, up the hill from the monastery by the small chapel. That was kind of what we were told, wasn't it? Maybe it means... It can mean there, right? It could mean there, actually. I guess that is a small chapel up the hill from the monastery. We call that one side of the monastery. If we call that the monastery, this is the small chapel, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely, definitely is that. Got some trees here. No ones I'd call them big trees, but... That's a lot pick opportunity. I don't really want to do that. Uh, around here. Hmm. No way in. Kind of odd that there's no way in here. There's this door, but we can't use it, so I guess it's not the right place. Hello. Good day to you. Whose house is this? It's our local custodians. <laughs> The most esteemed Sir Sebastian, Baron von Berg. Oh. What does the custodian do, anyway? Well, he's meant to look after the local community and keep the peace. But? Well, in fact, he seems more interested in robbing everyone blind. You don't seem to think very much of him. Well, of course I did. No man with a nose so stuck up that it acts as a rain funnel can't be all bad. Oh, all right. Well, thank you. I'm much obliged. <laughs> Don't mention it. You look bored. Beyond tears. How can you be bored here in Sasau? It's such a holy place, filled with knowledge. Don't even talk to me about it. They won't let you touch the books. They don't want to talk to you. And when I wanted to look at the remains of St. Procopius, at least, they ran me off. Me! Like some kind of thief. What good is the whole blasted monastery if I can't even do that? Hmm. Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I can't really help you with that. I know. I just needed someone to complain to. That's good. Yeah. So... Didn't really want to do his quest. I just wanted to see, like, whether this was the right place. We were told to invest... Eight. There's an there's a nest. Groshin, Groshin. There's a lot of Doshin. Oh, that's a bat. Oh, I was telling me that there was one Groshin I could steal from the nest. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm a convicted criminal. I don't steal anymore. This has to be the hill, right? Determining that this has to be the hill. Just up the hill, I'm gonna find a tree. Oh, is it here? 
Who's this guy? He was here last time as well. Hey. You. Oh, he's nobody. I'm over encumbered. Because uh, I don't have enough strength to carry everything. Or something like that. Uh, let's eat some fruit. Maybe eat some dried meat. Okay. Um, then maybe... I don't know. Put the bandages on the horse. I need like uh, just a little bit more. Let's put uh, our tournament arrows on the horse. There we go. We can now move again. This definitely looks like the wagon, right? Covered in accident. I would have thought this is the wagon that we were being told about, but I guess not. Okay. Well, we'll keep investigating. Tree at the top here. I mean, that looks like the tree, right? The only tree at the top of a hill I can see. I mean, if it's, I can't see a chapel around here, and I think that probably means we're not in the right place. Unless they meant the little shrine, in which case it's still not the right place. Okay, right, let's stop investigating that. Let's go back to town. What, what do we actually have to do? Uh, talk to Florian, the engraver's and talk to the Madam of the Baths. So let's talk to the Madam of the Baths first, then we'll talk to Florian. So we go to him with all the information we need. Okay. Alright. So, Madam of the Baths. What we should do there is we should also heal our wounds, because I did see that we actually have wounds. The problem. I'm just checking the sides here. It could be it's at the other side of here, but the other side of here is not really a hill, is it? Oh, really? Oh, well. We'll see. Presumably, at some point, we'll be straight up told to go there, and then it'll be on our map. Then I can be like, oh, it was right there. And then we'll all be good. Right, through here. Ooh, perfect jump. Getting better at those. Okay. I think A is the bath. Let me just have a look here. Um, A is indeed the bath. In fact, the baths are right here, so that's perfect. Right, get off our horse. Go hang out in the baths. Hello. First of I'd all, I'd like to. Uh... uh huh. I would like, I guess, to pay for the wench because it's free. I'd like um, a private bar for two. I'm sure you'll be extremely. The bathmaids will make a new man of you. Oh, this takes two of Oh, right. Well, that's fine. I suppose we didn't have anything better to do. One hour. Hey, this one doesn't go slowly as it reaches the end. Or is... No, that's good. No, it didn't go slowly. What are you doing, I help? Oh, now, now we've got... Alpha male. Okay. Fine. Don't like that she instantly ran away. Uh, right. Uh, I do also want to repair all my clothes and all that stuff. I assumed maybe that came with the uh, package. I'm not sure. I assume I, I assume like the bottom is option is the right option. But anyway, uh, I want to heal my wounds and yeah, I want to do all of that. A bit of I'm sure you'll. Be yeah. Okay. So I guess the. W I'm not sure whether the wench does everything like. The whole lot, but it looks like all of this is free, which is fantastic. So we can go there as much as we want, and we don't have to haggle each time. Hello. And it saves our game. I hear you're at odds with Apprentice Florian. At odds? I'll give you at odds. It's that sod's fault they took my Esther. Poor girl. I shudder to think what's become of her. Um, who? What exactly happened? This man came in wanting a bath, and Esther with it. She doesn't normally offer that kind of service, but I didn't see the harm, so I sent her in to him. And suddenly I hear screams, so I run out, and I see the bastard pulling her out of the tent and shoving her into a boat. Oh. 
Okay. What does this have to do with Florian? I'm sorry they took her, but what exactly has it got to do with Florian? They shouted at me to tell Florian that when he rises up, he'll get the girl back. I assume that Florian knows this, Esther. You know, village girls. They don't get much of a choice. Every other knave has a turnip for a brain. And if they don't, they're relatives. And then some young dandy turns up who writes her little poems. What's the poor girl to do? And this is how it ends. She should have stuck with the turnip heads. Okay. Um, what did the bailiff do? What did the bailiff make of it? Don't even get me started on that. He's a fine... I won't say what. I told him everything, but he says he won't do nothing about it. How's that then? He wouldn't tell me to my face, of course. But people here don't think much of us. There's some as reckon my Esther deserves what she got. Poor girl. Ooh. Tell me about Esther. It sounds like you were close to Esther. I loved her like my very own. She came to me as an orphan, like a wolf child she was. I raised her and taught her and gave her a job, and now she's gone. Who knows if she's even alive? Okay, do you know where I can find Florian? Where can I find this Florian? I'd like to ask him a few questions. He works in the engraver's workshop at the monastery craftsman's yard. And if he's not there, he'll be holed up like the rat he is in the cellar he rents from the baker. He's afraid of me, for sure. All right, thank you. Yeah. That was very helpful, really. And gave us an actual lead. And shows that Florian is one of the few people who actually just said no to these people. I mean, it didn't... Oh my god, what happened to our horse? Yeah, it didn't turn out well for Florian, but he did say no to them, which is a positive. Hi, guards. I'm okay. I'm just... I've been released. You don't need to keep, you know, persecuting me. Uh, we're having some troubles here with, you know, gravity, physics, all that sort of stuff. Right, so is this the Baker's? Uh, Baker's, I think, are in here. Unless I have to, and no, I have to go next door to get to the bakers. That's fine. Thought I'd try it. Okay, in this way, into the bakers. Okay, right. And we can check the cellar, which is this way. Hey, can I go to your cellar? Okay then. Well, it was either through that door or it's like round the back somewhere. Are you a baker? You're the baker. How are you? Good. You? Nope. Okay. So how do I get to the cellar? It doesn't look like it has a separate door. Just checking that I do actually have to lockpick my way in. Looks like I might have to lockpick my way in. Looks like we're good. This is the toughest lockpick we've done yet. Is that loud? Did it. Well, we're allowed in now. We'll have a loot. This is not the cellar. Oh, okay. That was very odd in terms of how to walk. This is also not the cellar. You in there? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, you Florian. You're the baker. We just spoke. Wait. Yeah, so we know that Florian's in the house, right? We, we know he's in the cellar. I just don't know how to get to the cellar. We know that Florian is in, like... He's, he's under here. 
thought I'd check that we didn't have a different definition of seller. You never know. Book? Nope. Maybe you get to the cellar by different means. Oh. Through the door, perhaps. Hello, Florian. I've been looking for you. Good day to you. You look quite sprightly for an invalid. What? Who the hell are you? My name's Henry, and I'm making inquiries for Sir Radzig Kobola. And what do you want from me? Straight to the point, then. All right. I've been investigating counterfeit money, and the trail led me straight to you. Does the name Rapporteur mean anything to you? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe? Don't bother. I know you know him. You make the punch dies for the counterfeiters. How do you hand them over? Do you know where their workshop is? I can't say anything. I'll deny everything and you've got nothing on me. No evidence, just accusations. Hmm. Is it because of the girl? It's got something to do with that girl, hasn't it? How do you know? That doesn't matter. No, I, I suppose not. I didn't want to get involved, I swear. Those bastards kidnapped Esther. If I don't cooperate, they'll kill her. Okay. Well, let's, let, let's sympathize. Let's get some empathy. He'll start to see us as a friend, and then we stab him in the gut, and we tell, and we ask him where, you know, where are, where's the workshop. I'm sorry about that. Me too. Listen, I'll tell you everything. I promise, but only if I know that Esther's safe. What, so I'm to go searching for her in the woods. I know where they're keeping her, but nobody will help me. And what can puny little me do face with those strapping great villains? Hmm. Okay. We could just try and convince him, but you know what? I think we'll save her. Very well. I'll bring back your Esther. Really? Yes, but then you have to tell me everything. I will. I swear to God Almighty. Please, just bring her back to me. Nothing else matters. Where are they keeping her? In the Scallet's Hills. There are some abandoned cottages around the mines. That's where I saw her last. They took me there when I said they had to let me speak to her. All right. I'll go there and try and think of something. You're my saviour. Don't get your hopes up. Anything can happen. Okay, well, it's saved, which is nice. Again. Uh, let's see. We can... I was thinking maybe... As a last thing for this episode, I'm just going to try out a little theory of mine. I think we could potentially get help in this quest if we go and speak to our night friend. There's also a chance that we don't get any help in this quest, but we'll see. We'll see. I think if he helps us, we're in a good spot. Like, I think if he doesn't help us, we're still okay, apart from the fact that we're, uh, you know, escaped. I was going to say escaped. We're, we're released convict. Which lowers our stats, obviously, but, you know, maybe, maybe, um, this will work out. He'll say, yep, everything is good, and, uh, I'll come with you. What the hell? He's not here anymore. He must have gone to scout out that place, I guess. Hey! What? Ah, uh, I do what like the how they doing? move out of the way when you run into them. Uh, I don't see him around here, so I'm going to assume that he is gone, and that is not an option. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to end the episode here. Um, actually, I'm going to eat a little bit. Oh, we already eat from that one. I'm going to end the episode here, and then we're going to head up to uh, the Scallet's Hills and rescue uh, Esther. See you then. Goodbye.